Hey guys, Brian here. Welcome back to Outside of the Shop. Got the old Dodge hooked to the old trailer. We'll see what it hauled in this time. So, had a little adventure the other day. Of course, China Bomb decided to throw the tread even though I had checked air pressure and everything before I left. After about 300 miles, it went boom, boom. I may have been driving too fast. So. And here's what I went and got. So. Let's see what that says. We've got a semi-truck dynamometer doesn't have the any of the electronics with it so um, I'd have to uh, source all that stuff I'm sure it's probably still available through Taylor for a small fortune or I could maybe devise something myself we'll see but anyway it's got a good little chunk of steel basically bought this for everyday value price got a couple of truck tire chains thrown in on the deal for 22 fives which i don't have any of but nevertheless I can always chain up um, got my spare tire on but the trailer did all right other than that so, thousand miles Uh, CM51 dyno, pretty late model stuff, 498. So everything appears to be in decent shape. So, no load cells, because again, no electronics. And the way they do this is they got a speed increaser to run the roll speed up to the absorber. So that it can absorb more power with a smaller brake. So I guess they kind of do that to keep it low profile so it's not sticking up out of the floor a great deal. But I could always change out, put one of my Clayton absorbers on here and increase the capacity. I believe this thing says it's rated for 1100 continuous horsepower. At 80 mile an hour so how to hold a pickup truck anyway so put those couplers on there like what I used on the heister and that's the rear roll coupler and the coupler for the front set of rollers usually on a tandem axle semi it's set up to where the tandems front set of tandems sits in between the rolls and the back one sits on top somewhere and then depending on the wheelbase it uh, sits to the front side or the top or the back side depending on what the spread of the tandems is that's why it's not four sets of rollers uh, possibly I don't know if they've got enough room but Mike could also uh, put another absorber on these rollers they have to tie them together and tie them like it did the front they run independent So which is it? Made in USA or is it Canada? Oh. Mystery. So 
So this will allow me when I build my other shop building, when funds permit, to uh, install a chassis dyno with the engine dyno. Um, I just have all kinds of dynos. So, um, be fun times. It's a, the the uh, the crew cab hold this no problem. It's probably at ten thousand pounds of dyno, I'd say. So twenty six thousand gross, roughly, give or take a thousand, and. Pulled it through the mountains, no problem. Uh, still got to do something about the EGTs. I had to back out of it a couple of times, but never lacked for power. Pull this 70 miles an hour all day long up any interstate grade you could find. So it's getting there. Just got to get the twins on it and get it cooled down. So that'll be a project here pretty soon. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I'll catch y'all later.